Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square uh, A, B, C, D and this uh, circle with the center O put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, code uh, A, B is the side of this uh, blue square and moreover uh, this perpendicular E, F is a bisector of this uh, code uh, A, B. In other words, uh, this segment uh, AF equals to this segment uh, BF. And furthermore, uh, this uh, perpendicular EF length uh, is uh, 8 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if one chord is perpendicular bisector of another chord, then the first chord is the radius. So therefore, if we extend uh, this segment uh, EF uh, all the way to this point of tangency P, then uh, this is going to pass through this center O and furthermore uh, this is going to be our uh, radius I'm going to label that one as uh, lowercase r and likewise this uh, is going to be radius uh, lowercase r uh, as well so therefore uh, this whole diameter EP is going to be 2 times uh, lowercase r and now we know that this uh, segment uh, EF uh, 8 units so therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, FP is going to be 2R minus 8. So I can write down 2R minus 8. And furthermore we know this is our radius uh, lowercase r. So therefore this segment uh, OF is going to be R minus 8. So therefore I put down uh, our segment uh, OF length is uh, lowercase r minus 8 and our uh, fp segment length is 2r minus 8 and here's our next step i'm going to label this segment uh, af uh, as uh, lowercase x then this uh, bf segment is going to be lowercase x uh, as well then this uh, whole uh, side length uh, of this blue square is going to be 2 times uh, x and since all these uh, sides are equal in length, if this side is 2x, uh, then this side is going to be 2x uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, BC side length of this uh, blue square is equal to this uh, FP length. So therefore, uh, no wonder I put down uh, FP length is uh, 2 times x. And now we can see that our FP segment length is 2R minus 8 and FP length is 2X as well. So we can compare them. Since the left hand sides are identical, we can equate the right hand sides as well. So therefore I can write 2X equals to 2R minus 8. And now I am going to divide each and every term by 2 to simplify everything so therefore our x value turns out to be equal to r minus 4 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1 and now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem if two chords intersect in a circle then the product of the measures of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this given diagram here we can see we got these uh, two chords uh, A, C and B, D intersect each other at this point uh, as you can see such that we are ended up with this uh, segment uh, lowercase a, this segment lowercase b, this segment lowercase c and this segment uh, lowercase d respectively such that according to this uh, intersecting chords uh, theorem A times B equal to C times uh, D and now we are going to apply this uh, intersecting chords uh, theorem on this uh, given uh, problem and here we can see that these two chords uh, a b and this uh, 
called uh, EP intersect each uh, other at this uh, point F and as a result we are uh, ended up with these uh, segments uh, this segment uh, this segment uh, this uh, segment and this finally this whole uh, segment so therefore uh, we are going to multiply x uh, times x is going to give us uh, x uh, square is going to be equal to this segment a time uh, this segment uh, 2r minus 8 so i can write down uh, 8 uh, times uh, 2r minus uh, 8 and now I am going to distribute uh, 8. So therefore we can write uh, x square is going to be equal to 16 times uh, r minus uh, 64. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. And now let me show you an alternative approach uh, to get uh, this uh, equation uh, by using uh, the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our very first thing. We are going to connect this center O with this uh, point B. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see this uh, OB is the radius of this uh, circle. Therefore, I'm going to label this uh, radius as uh, lowercase r as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OFB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, radius r, whereas our two other legs are uh, x, uh, and this uh, segment is uh, r minus 8. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, r minus uh, 8 uh, whole square is going to be equal to r square. And now let's recall this famous identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore we can write uh, x square plus uh, r square minus uh, 16 times r plus uh, 64 is going to be equal to r square. And now we can see this r square and r square they cancel each other out and we are going to move these uh, terms uh, on the other side so therefore we are ended up with the x square equals to 16 times r minus uh, 64 and we can see that this uh, equation is uh, very same as this equation number two and we can get this uh, equation by using the intersecting chords uh, theorem and we can also get the very same equation by using the Pythagorean theorem as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, equation one once again and here I have copied down uh, equation one uh, over here x equal to r minus four and now I'm going to take the square uh, on both uh, sides uh, of this uh, equation so the left hand side is going to be simply x square is equal to and now let's recall this identity once again a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus uh, 2ab plus b square and we are going to apply this uh, identity on the right hand side of this equation so therefore we can write uh, r square minus uh, a times r plus uh, 16 and I am going to label this one as our equation number three. And now we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation two and equation three. And now we are going to compare these uh, two equations. We can see the left hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore we can equate the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we can write uh, r square minus a times r plus uh, 16 is going to be equal to 16 times r minus uh, 64 and now we are going to subtract uh, 16 r from both sides and at the very same time going to add uh, 64 on both sides as well and here we can see this cancels out and this cancels out as well so therefore on the left hand side uh, r square when we add uh, these two that is going to give us uh, negative 24 r plus uh, this is going to give us uh, 80 is going to be equal to 0 
So therefore we are ended up with this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve our radius r by grouping and factoring. And now let's focus on this uh, middle term. This could be written as uh, negative 4 r minus uh, 20 times uh, r. And we can see negative 4 times 20 is going to give us positive uh, 80. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see lowercase r is in common between first two terms. And here uh, negative uh, 20 is in common. So therefore we can write uh, r times r minus 4 minus uh, 20 times uh, r minus uh, 4 equal to 0. And if we combine everything that is going to give us uh, r minus uh, 20 times uh, r minus 4 equal to 0. And now we got these two factors equal to 0. We can separate them. We can write down r minus 20 equal to 0. And the other one is going to be r minus 4 equal to 0. For this first equation, r radius is going to be 20 units. For the second, r is going to be 4 units. And now we can see radius r equals to 4 is not uh, feasible. So therefore we are going to reject this r equals to 4 value and we are going to accept uh, radius r value as uh, 20 units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our radius uh, r turns out to be 20 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.